Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, DIY Decor. So today I'm gonna take this tinsel bunny from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna start taking all this tinsel off and it is super simple to unwrap. I am gonna keep the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the ears. And once everything's off, I'm taking my scissors and I'm just going to cut these plastic tabs off. I don't need them. I don't want them. So I'm just going to get rid of them. Now, on the ears, the tabs are stuck in these kind of little grooves. So instead of snipping them off, because I couldn't really get the scissors in there, I just put the scissors on them and kind of clamped down a little bit and then just bent them and they popped right off. Now, taking this cloth from the Dollar Tree, this is in the automotive section, I'm going to put my frame on there and just cut down what I need just so it's easier to work with. And then I'll make some cuts in the indentions and then I'm just going to hot glue this cloth right on this frame. Now the back is looking super messy, but that's okay because we're gonna fix that in a little bit. Once this is all glued down, I get my scissors and I just trim all the excess cloth away. Now, taking this little pack of felt squares, I got this um, from Amazon. It was about $5. I'm going to take one of the pink squares and I'm going to take the black square. And then using the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, those things that we had pulled off of the tinsel, I'm going to take and trace the eyes and I'm going to trace the mouth in black. Now, the mouth did rip on me when I was taking it off. No big deal. I just took the two pieces and stuck them down separately and was still able to trace out one piece for the mouth. And then I just cut those out. And then I'll take the nose and I will trace it out on the pink square and then cut it out as well. Now, I do switch out that nose. You'll see that in just a minute. Now I'm going to take um, the ears and I'm going to trace it out on this fuzzy uh, top that I have. This is actually a pajama top that my daughter had. She didn't want it anymore and of course I couldn't throw it away. So I just trace the ears and cut those out and then I also do the nose in this fabric as well. And then I'm just going to start gluing all my pieces down. And then this black and white plaid fabric, or I'm sorry, ribbon, I'm going to take and fold it over. I'm going to put a little glue on the ends, take a piece of jute twine, wrap it around, tie it tight in a knot, snip the ends, and then I'm going to glue this right to the top of the bunny's head. Now, taking this white felt from the Dollar Tree, I'm just going to roll out a piece to cover the back of the bunny. So using my pen, I'm just going to trace out the bunny head and I do make sure I try to get that pen up under the lip just a little bit of that bunny form because I didn't want any of the felt to be seen on the front side of the bunny. And then I just take and cut it out and then we are going to hot glue this felt to the back of the bunny frame. And here is our bunny. So instead of all that tinsel, we now have a fuzzy, furry looking bunny. And I think this looks so much better. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. 
So this next DIY is super simple and so easy. I have been loving all of the Peter Cottontail decor that I have been seeing at Hobby Lobby. Um, even Walmart has had some and I wanted to try to make my own. So this printable, I just Google searched a uh, Peter Cottontail free printable and I got this one. So I printed it off on my computer. Now I'm taking this canvas from the Dollar Tree and you don't have to get these um, staples out, but I like to get them out. And I just use a flathead, flathead screwdriver and I have to kind of press it down into the wood a little bit and then um, to get up under that staple and then I can pull it up. And then I take my needle nose pliers and I just twist and pop the staples out. So I'll go all the way around removing the staples and then I'm able to take the canvas off. Now this inside line here where the fold is on the canvas is what I'm going to cut out. So I'm just going to cut all the way around on that inside line. And now I'm going to cut my picture out. So I'm just going to cut all the way around the bunny. I'm not going to try to go around those whiskers. I'm just going to cut those right off and I will fix those later. All right, now taking this canvas. So this is the top side of the canvas that you would normally paint, but I'm actually gonna flip it over. I want the other side. The other side is not as white and it has these little brown textured spots in it and it just made it look more rustic. So I'm actually flipping the canvas and the back side is gonna be facing up. Now we'll just put the bunny on here and then we'll attach the frame. So using Mod Podge, this is regular Mod Podge and matte, I'm just gonna take and start brushing it on the back side of my picture. And I do little at a time. So I put a little Mod Podge on and then I press it down onto the canvas and then I add a little bit more. Now, because I am using Mod Podge and this is paper, I do get some wrinkles and things, but if you guys wanted to use a glue stick or even your glue gun or some other kind of glue, you could definitely use that to tack it down and then you could add a layer of Mod Podge on top of it as well. So I'm just trying to put a good layer on there. I don't want it too thick because I don't want it like squeezing out from the sides, but I do want to make sure that I get the edges really, really well so that they will stick down. And I do have a little bit of excess at the bottom there, and I'm just going to take the scissors and just cut that off. I had cut the whiskers off, so I want to fix that. So I'm taking my pencil and where the whiskers are on the watercolor printout, I'm just continuing the whiskers onto the canvas. And then the other side, I'm using the picture from my phone, the original picture from my phone and uh, to see where to put the whiskers. And I'm just drawing them on and I'm erasing, um, redrawing, whatever, just trying to fix them to get them to look good or the way that I like them. Now using this apple barrel paint in the color burnt umber. I'm going to take a small brush here. This is an angled brush and I'm just going to dip it into the paint and I'm going to paint those whiskers on. And I'm going to start on the picture and then take it also um, on the canvas because I'm trying to blend it in so it's not obvious that it's uh, not originally painted on to start with. And I do go in and add a little bit of the burnt umber paint to the bunny's nose as well. So now we can add our frame. Now I like the raw finish of this. I just thought it went really well with the watercolor of the picture and I left it as is, but you could totally uh, paint it, stain it, whatever you wanted to do. Um, I'm leaving it and I'm just gonna start taking and hot gluing all the way around the edges and pressing that canvas down. So I do wanna add a hanger. So I'm just gonna take this piece of jute twine. This is a little bit thicker than the Dollar Tree. I got this one at Walmart, but I'm just gonna put knots on each end and glue them to the top of the frame. 
and this is our finished picture. I think this is so sweet and perfect in time for spring. It has a very rustic feel to it and I adore it. I have it just propped up in a tobacco basket. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.